get it. We definitely got one speaker missing from the stunt wall, guys. Let's check this out. Today, I actually have to go to the car audio plug real quick. We have to buy a new speaker because well, the other day uh, nothing was playing in the back of the stunt wall and this is my access point to get to my main fuse coming from the front. Uh, I just want to make sure that it was actually good. But when your boy went to go take the speaker out, man, it like fell and like pinched my finger like really, really bad. And just out of like that quick anger, guys, man, your boy punched the speaker. And I launched it. Speaker is somewhere down there. I don't even know where it's at. Because of my quick anger, man, your boy has to go buy a new speaker today. So I actually have to drive like at least like an hour away to the plug to go get a new speaker. Why? Because, man, it is Easter weekend. Everybody brings out the toys on Easter weekend, man. So we got to be out there getting it. And I think this is going to be actually the last weekend I have with the sound system, man, because it's all going to get torn out. Man, it's time to redo something. Man, we've had this set up for almost like two years, guys. So I think it's time for something new. And what I got building in my mind, shh, it's going to get crazy. Oh, the speaker actually has a big W on us because we actually going to have to go buy a new one. And it, you know, fell on our, our finger. And, man, that thing sucked. It hurt really, really bad. I'm not even going to lie. Follow with your boy, man. Let's go get the speaker, get this thing put in, and see if it jams again. Let's get it. All right, so I made it to Tampa. Man, I gotta get some money from the bank. All right, so let me get some money out real quick. I think the speaker probably cost us like $100, but we'll see what's good. Either get a Tempido, or a PRV, but man, your boy hasn't ate nothing, and we are in Tampa, and I got my oldest and my son, and we're about to go grub real quick and then go out there. I think it's like the store is like five minutes away, but man, let's get something to eat real quick. This mall is it is abandoned. This mall at one time, man, it was popping here in Tampa, the University Mall. If you know, you know. But I ain't even gonna lie, the food here is off the chain, man. I had to stop by real quick. But where's my son? What's up, man? Say what's up to YouTube. Pizza, we got Chinese, we got some barbecue, some Japanese food, and some Mexican food. Uh, my son wants some pizza, let's get him some real quick. What do you want? Cheese. Alright, well, here it is. Alright, well, we're gonna order some food real quick, and I'll let you see what we got. Chicken. Uh, and then let me get let me get some orange chicken. Yeah. And it's a macaroni. Okay. Macaroni? Yeah. Yeah, please. Show you what your boy got real quick, guys. Man, this is gas. Wait for this for the longest. Look at this. If you know, you know, guys. All Chinese food, guys. You can never go wrong with it. You like it? Man, you can never go wrong, man. This is gonna be fire right now. And they got some pizza. Man, you big ass pieces. Taking my own one. She got a big pizza too. Those things are huge. I know. Ah! All right, so we're gonna eat real quick, and then we're gonna get to getting these speakers, man. Let's get it. We made it to Livewire, guys. Look, let's see if we can see the sign a little bit. All right. Live wire right here in Tampa. I'll get the address. Go check out to see what they got. And man, let's get this 10 inch speaker, man.
Oh, man, if you're definitely in the Tampa area, man, look at these big old subs right here. More subs over there. Uh, DSA teams, man, they got everything and in stock, man. So definitely come check it out. All right, so we just got some regular tin just to put in the hole, guys. Nothing too crazy because I do want to buy probably like three different tins and test them out before we actually buy the big bulk of new speakers that we're going to put in there. But man, definitely come to Livewire, check them out here in Tampa. That is their phone number. And just look them up on uh, Google and you'll get the address and directions here. Man. Let's get home, put that guy in and see what the stunt wall sounds like. We made it back to the trap house, man. We we're about to go ahead and put that speaker in there. Let me go ahead and show you what we actually got. So, you know, we went ahead and got a little quick, you know, 10W650A. Um, this is the Alto Series PRV. These guys can pretty much just handle like 650 watts. Uh, you can probably put uh, 1300 watts into it if you really want to. But I just really needed to do a little bit of work just this weekend because like I said, um, this coming up week, guys, I am gonna start the console. Just because uh, I can't even get inside that piece right there, guys. Um, and I just kind of want to like do something new to the truck to motivate myself to get back on it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the console. And then I'll end up making my way back to the back of the truck. And we have this stump wall that I built like probably like two years ago. But I just feel, you know, within time, people have already, you know, pushed the limits on the stump wall stuff. Um, it looks good. Don't get me wrong but I think it's time to step it up a little bit, make it a little bit more louder and make it a little bit more cleaner looking. Although it does look pretty smooth, look at it. I'll just say, man, that white and the red combination, guys, man, that definitely killed it. But with the next combo that we are gonna do, it's gonna be super, super dope. So I am gonna buy Timpano's loudest mid-range speaker and we're gonna buy a Neo mid-range speaker and then the second to best mid-range speaker that PRV makes. And then we are gonna test all three of them out and see which one is gonna be the loudest uh, for the truck because uh, you know we we really need to step up the game and put some serious power on the mids although I got like 3,000 3,000 to 6,000 watts man but people are putting like 8,000 watts just on a few horns so you can already see you know how much you know far behind we have gotten plan guys just so you guys know what's good I do have those four tens, right, or those two twelves and the two tens, but I may just go ahead and put four tens or maybe all four twelves. And then you know how this is square right here? I'll probably do like a nice round design and then round out the tens just so they're like facing more like towards the back instead of facing each other. Uh, and then the top piece will go ahead and do like vinyl again. But whatever's curved out that we'll do out of fiberglass that's gonna be painted and it will do vinyl floor. And then I do want to make this a little bit bigger so we can at least fit 110 here and a horn up there. And then depending how wide it gets, we'll go ahead and do like maybe like a horn, maybe a 10 and another horn right there. Load the tailgate up. I do want to load the tailgate up with some horn as well too, but we won't know what we can actually put on this until we actually build and see what the floor is because like right there, we do have that area. So if we were to add some stuff right now, it'll definitely close. But who knows what's to happen once we start building everything. So we'll get into that probably like in the next uh, few videos that we start getting into. Anyways, like I said, guys, that's up for the next few videos that are coming up after this one. It is Easter weekend and we do got an event to go to on Saturday night. And then Sunday, who knows is what's going to happen just because, man, it's Easter weekend. And I think St. Pee Pee popping. I know they got a big old car show going down Fort Lauderdale. I wish I could go to that one. But four hour drive there and back. That's eight hours on the road. That's definitely out the question, but we'll see what happens. But hopefully St. Pete's got something popping. But I know Saturday, man, we're going to be in Tampa getting down, man. That's, big boys come out there with them stunt walls. And we're not loud, guys, but, man, we can hang out. We got that base, remember. All right, so let's open this guy up. We've already seen what these PRVs look like, but opening up a new one is still like opening up a gift on Christmas. And honestly, guys, this is our very first PRV that we buy for our vehicle. All the other PRVs that we have opened up on the channel, uh, it's been for customers rides. So look, we get a PRV sticker, badass. We got the Auto Series, little manual book. 
Look, it shows you all the auto series mids and everything. Badass. A little warranty stuff. Right, so let's take this guy out. Right, so this is what the auto series looks like PRV. It has all the information in the back of it. Nice little basket. It says PRV on the actual coin itself. Um, pretty good speaker. I must say it almost looks similar to the Delta that I got. But the magnet looks a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. And I have tested these up against the Deltas in my truck. And I must say they have uh, sounded just a little bit louder than it. But obviously way, way cleaner. My thing is, man, filling in that hole. That's what matters, man. Because that hole is driving me insane. And I'm telling you, I went to check that fuse. The speaker fell. Like, it got me in my finger. I, like, completely punched it. And uh, it's somewhere down over there. I have no idea. Uh, I probably need to go pick it up. So when they cut the grass, it doesn't mess up their lawnmower. But... Let me go ahead and put that guy inside there and then we'll turn this guy on and see what it sounds like. And just like that, it is in there guys. Man, I don't know about you, but that hole was definitely bugging me even for like the two days because this happened like Saturday and today is actually Wednesday. But this thing is really, really dirty like this. So we definitely got to clean it up before the weekend. Please. It's dirty guys. I'm telling you, the truck was just parked for like almost like a month and a half and some change. But man, that's... I've been driving a little bit here and there. I can't abandon my baby like that, especially, man, we got that get down in it. Let's actually fire this up real quick and see how loud it is. Uh, man, my kids sometimes get back here and play, you know, all that stuff. But look, they even knock down your boy's ambient wires. I know they always mess with your boy's EQ. So we definitely got to sit here and tune this thing up for the weekend. I kind of want to put a nice hot tune in it. So this thing is loud, loud, loud. This Wednesday, you'll see a video, so maybe Saturday, uh, we can drop a video of tuning it before we go to the event and then maybe Sunday you guys will see the video on the event of uh, Saturday but man let me fire this thing up real quick when I actually redo this stunt wall back here guys I am gonna get like one of those medusas where I can have all the key cues and everything right here and I can adjust it as we're hearing it as I do have like the EQ that's right here on the side but check it out so I pretty much just like set my EQ up here and then I have the switch that turns on the amps in the back and then that's my you know master volume knob for everything oh, my son wants to show everybody his robots that he made what do you think you like them mm -hmm. they're really really nice i like them i upgraded i know badass let's let's turn this guy up a little bit let me turn this one down so we can control it a little back there Turn the switch. Okay. Oh yeah, I heard it. Definitely needs a retune and the mid bass is a little off, but that's on the tune itself. But uh, man, let's try a different song real quick. Sounds good though. So she can definitely use a quick little tune guys I'm not even gonna lie I do have my PRV crossover that I have for my tuning uh, I know a lot of people use the DSPs but man I love the dial in just because it's so much easier for me to use and sometimes if you're battling and you need to adjust stuff man it's right there guys you don't have to 
press a button and then you know you press the wrong button and your whole tune's out of whack and man when you're in the line of fire when you're here and you got another car a truck across from you jamming you out and you got to set something up and hitting the wrong button man it's over with you're done for hey guys we're gonna get in the truck man we're gonna go quad out for a little bit man we gotta end the video right with some bass man i i love the bass in the truck every time i get in it and i hear this thing with the bass guys i'm just like damn you know that thing is beaten and honestly I don't have to listen to specific songs for it to jam out, man. I can put anything in this truck, guys, and that thing bangs out, man. We're out here spinning right now around the block. I mean, we're actually in the city. We're just riding around. But anyways, man, like I said, I, I don't think there's not one song that my truck does not jam to, you guys. Like, let's turn this up. That Get It Sexy Slow Down by Sexy Red Guys. That thing is beat and look, watch. Sexy red song, get it big sexy, slow down guys. Man, that thing is beating guys, beating. But anyways, man, that's gonna conclude today's video. Man, we're trying to get ready for Easter weekend, man. That's just gonna be dope. Man, the whips are coming out, man. They're bringing the guns out this weekend, man. So definitely stay tuned. I'm gonna try to drop tuning the truck because we definitely gotta tune this thing because it is so out of whack. Uh, and then, like I said, Saturday night, we're going to that little hangout, a block party event. And then Sunday, man, it, it, it's, it's game time. It's Easter, guys. So definitely stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, man. And I, I think we're back in the rhythm, guys. So, man, enough said. I'll catch you guys in the next one.